What's up guys this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you how to get the Google Assistant working on your Android device running on Android 7.0 and above. So basically uh, it will not work on all the devices as for now but yeah, I'll be giving a list on the working devices in the description below so do check the description out as well. So basically there are actually two methods to do so but before that I'll be telling you guys what all requirements and what all needs you require to do this. So the first one is obviously you require root to do so. So yeah, you need to be rooted and also have a custom recovery installed on your Android device. Without that, it won't work. And the second thing is make sure that you're on the latest version of the Google app. So this here is the Google app itself. Just make sure that you're on the latest one. Just update it from the Play Store if you're not. And if you want, you can also download the APK and install it on your Android device. So yeah, once these two things are done, just go into the link in the description again and download these two files. I'm sorry, these three files I'll be telling you guys. So the first one being the tweak.prop, the second one being the Google Assistant Velvet.zip and the third one being the Google Assistant Build.prop.zip. Just download all the three files and paste it in your internal storage. So once all these steps are done, just have to do is power off your device and go into your recovery mode. If you have a reboot to recovery option, just do that or else if you're on the Nexus or any other devices that only have power off button, just power off your device and go into your recovery. So once into the recovery, as you can see, I'm having, having the DWRP recovery and I'm on the latest version of the DWRP recovery as well. So once into the DWRP recovery, just have to do is go into install real quick and then swipe down. And this is like a really, really important step to do so. The first and foremost thing you have to flash is the Google Assist Velvet.zip, not the Billprop.zip, but first flash the Assist.zip followed by the Billprop.zip. Also do not flash it combined just have to do is flash it individually because just have to be on the safe side just don't flash it together just flash it individually so basically first flash the google assist builder.zip hit back then flash the google buildprop.zip hit back hit on the home button just going to wipe going to advanced wipe just wipe the dalvik art cache and the cache swipe to wipe and then you're good to go or you can even wipe the cache after the flashing is done and yeah you're good to go basically if you don't do that you'll probably end up in a boot loop so yeah just have to do is wipe the dalvik and art cache and then you're good to go you hit on the reboot and the system so you must be wondering i was about to say that there were two methods the first one being this one and the second one is actually not recommended i did it and ended up in a boot loop so i won't be recommending doing that the method here is editing the build prop from the file explorer so i did uh, change the name to pixel but it didn't work i ended up in a boot loop so i won't be recommending doing that uh, as well but yeah, i'll be posting the xda links in the description below as well so do check the description and the safest way to do is just flashing the zip files and you're good to go. once your device is rebooted back again just have to do is tap on the home button and you'll get the google assistant but if you don't have the google assistant yet do not worry i have solution for that as well just have to do is go into your settings real quick then scroll down and go into apps scroll down again and find the google app over here then go into your storage, go into your manage space. Just do one thing is that clear all data. So once you have cleared all the Google data, then go to your home screen again. Just hold the home button here and eventually you'll get the Google Assistant on running on your Android device. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we'll be testing the Google Assistant itself. So let's see. What's the weather like? There you go. Also, this can do a lot of things. So let's test it out real quick. Okay, Google. What all can you do? I can help you with lots of things. For example, you can say things like play some music or play some jazz. To see more, just swipe the options on your screen. Okay, now I'll just play a few games on this. So all hands-free game, just voice control. So, okay, Google. Let's play a game. Okay, Google. Audio games. Okay, how about one of these? Okay, Google. Let's play Are You Feeling Lucky? Game show time. Okay, okay. I'm going to psych myself up now. How many contestants are playing? 
One. Party of one. Right this way. We'll do five questions. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. From now on, I'll call you Sandwich. Okay, let's get things started. It should go by quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, you can play games hands-free. And you can do a lot of lot and lot of stuff with your Google Assistant. It's like basically a bumped up version of Google now. So that's pretty pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for this video. Also, I'll be leaving the Pixel Launcher zip in the description if you want to flash it on your device as well. So yeah, just check the description out again. So yeah, for now that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in my next one.